So we've got a pretty fresh engine and we've got a fresh transaxle, but that's really only part of the job. We want to tighten up this shifting. And I've noticed when driving, especially in like third gear, that I can hear a little rattle down there, which means that the bushing that's in the, uh, in the tunnel here is probably gone or at least severely compromised, probably gone. So today I'm going to show you how to take out the shift linkage that runs through the tunnel and freshen that up. And I know that, uh, Musty One has done a video like this. Duckman has done a video like this, but I'm going to do this the Jeff way, I guess. So we're going to start basically by taking out everything. Front seat, back seat, basket, shift rod, not shift rod, what's that called? Shifter, shift stick, stick shift, the stick. We're going to take all of this out so that we have easy access to everything inside of the car. Most year beetles, you just have a little lever here that you flip up and you have to slide the seat forward at the same time. Uh, sometimes they're kind of sticky. I don't think this one slides very well. The, the driver's side does pretty good. And then starting, I think, up, up to 71, uh, they were the same. But on 71, let's see if you can see this down here, right above the, the lever there, right in there, there's a little tab that you have to push down also to get the seat slid out the rest of the way. And then 73 on, they've got a center stand here, a single, a single uh, connection in the front that you actually have to unbolt to get the seat out. That's, I think so, if I remember right. But, uh, you know, take out the seats however you need to. The, uh, the back seat comes out, the back just comes out on the, on the, uh, the back of the back. There's usually a little pull down lever over there and you have to take out a bolt. I think it's on the passenger side uh, to get the back out. You don't necessarily have to have the back out. My back doesn't fit right. So I'm going to take it out entirely and, uh, you know, get some crap out of the car too. I'll bring it back once I get everything out. I lied. Here you go. Here's the little tab right here. You can see that has to push down to clear that little tang on the seat. And the thing about Volkswagen is the driver's seat and the passenger seat, um, the bottoms are pretty much the same. So on the passenger seat, it's really easy. It's right here by the door. On the driver's seat, <laughs> it's down in there. There's the little, the little tab right here that you have to push down and it's right against the tunnel. So that, that's a little bit tougher, but uh, you'll figure it out. So your shift coupler is underneath this little panel here and there's a a Phillips or maybe a, a flathead screw right here. It just comes out. Set that aside so you don't lose it. And this little panel comes out right like that. There's our little grub nut right there. And I think I brought, yeah, an eight millimeter wrench. Gets right on that little guy. Or, you know, if you got your at antique adjustable wrench re replication from hand tool rescue or an adjustable wrench uh, may work but i put blue loctite on this um, you're also supposed to wire them up we'll wire it when we get all this back but right now we're just gonna pull this little grub nut out and drop it grub screw and uh that's not a big deal we'll be able to get it but that's your, your shifter uh, coupling right there. This one's pretty good. I'm going to put a new one on anyway and save this one. But you can see this shaft sliding in now there. So it's not that great. Uh, we want to tighten that up. And when you put these back together, you can actually use a pair of chain locks and squeeze that down and get it nice and tight. But that's off. Um, and that's it. So that's step one back here where'd that grub nut go oh i got a hole down there too i've got a little drain plug that goes down in there but uh yeah there's the grub nut nope oh, 
it might have fallen out the hole. There's a there's a little. Uh, I'll show you. Oop. There's a little vent hole down in there that uh, allows water and condensation out of the car. And there's actually a little rubber plug that goes in there. It has a little a little uh, valve on it, and I've got one somewhere. Um, I'm crazy that way, but. Uh, yeah, let's come back around here to the front and I'll show you what we're doing up here. So up here at the shifter, we have to pull out these two bolts here and that's pretty easy. Uh, on this car, they're 13, some cars they're 14 or 12, it depends on what someone put in there. Some people will use the wrong size bolt, I guess. I don't know, but I've, I've encountered 14s as well. pull out these two bolts and this holds in the whole the whole shifter and there's going to be a spring and a ball uh, at the end of this the spring is pushing this all up as you can see here there we go. all right so there's our spring and our ball right there and that all rides down in this little cup here and that's our shifter. This is also, God, what a greasy mess. Uh, this is also our lockout plate for reverse. And that's why you have to push down. There's a little pin that has to go past all this chunk and then go down. So, um, let me put this back here. So here's our, our business end. And listen, that's metal on metal. That's our uh, missing uh, bushing there, and I'm sure it's gone. So how do you get this out? Oh, well, we gotta take the other end off first. I missed a step. I'll take you back there and show you uh, what we have to do back there. Just a second. We have to go back to this end and we have to take this uh, bushing off here and I think that's an eight again yes super easy it's basically a lag screw uh, it just goes into the other end um, Kind of a frictiony fit really ratchet would be easier but i have this oh that's why we didn't do it because we do have to pull off that other end so i can turn this sideways otherwise you can't turn this sideways you see and we want to pull this bolt oh so my other end is spinning So I'm turning that, but it's also uh, turning this. So uh, I'll get a, a wrench on there and uh, I'll get this all off and I'll bring you back. All right, so we got that all off. You can see it's three pieces. This passes through. You kind of have to take the outside one off. I should have showed you. Take the outside one off, then, then uh, the cage will come off and this pulls out. And it all pulls out of the end of this. And again, you can hear there's kind of metal on metal sliding down there. So how do you get this out? You flip it over and we're just going to zing it forward. That's it. And if I spin you around here again on this end, um, you can see there's the, the shaft down there. We're going to do that. Why can't we go any further? Well, that's where we have to go to the front of the car and I'll show you up there. So here we are up at the front of the car and there's two things up here. Number one, up here in front of your beam, there's this little panel right there. And that's your access panel for getting that 
uh, shaft out. And then inside the hood, and we'll open up here in a second, is another one of these behind the spare tire, and this one. And all three of those need to come out to pull this shift out 100%. Uh, if you need to, if it's really rusty and you need to sand it uh, and get a little grease on it, you don't want to paint it because the paint will all come off uh, as you slide this back in. But uh, if you need to grease it to get it through, you want to pull all three of these out. I think we're just going to be able to pull this one out and, uh, and get this out of here. And I don't even have to jack up the car to do that. I can just get a couple, I think they're 13s on there, and uh, be able to pull that out. And that will let my shaft ride forward this way uh, so that we can get the new coupling, or not uh, bushing, uh, in there and then slide it back in. Okay, so we got our bolts out. They're 10s, by the way. And let's see if we can do this one-handed and hold the camera at the same time. All right, there's our plate. There's a piece of the old nylon bushing. And we've got the uh, the shift rod uh, sticking out of the hole here. You can see there's the rest of the nylon bushing. We'll get all that off. Let me put the new one on. I'm hoping we have enough space here just getting the rod uh, out to here. It dropped out up at the other end. Let's go check that out. out. So we dropped out down there and we've got our other end here. I don't know if this is working at all. There you go. It might need some light, but let me turn on the light. There we go. There's our rod there. And then there's our hole that we're going to put this new uh, clamp in. I've got a short tripod. Let me try and get that on here and uh, we'll see if we can get uh, you guys on so you can see all that happen. Anyway, there's the end we're going for. Okay, let's see if this will work. Uh, so we've got a new uh, bushing here. And the way that goes in, you've got this little, little break in it here in this little clip. This break is just so you can get it down in there. And this clip is here to keep it tight uh, around the shaft. This brake is not here because you can get this on while it's still in. You can't, it doesn't work. But you need to get this little ridge uh, sitting in your little ring there. So we're going to uh, put this in. <laughs> and if you drop it, you usually can get it with a pair of long nose pliers or something. <sighs> I'm gonna come around to the other side. This side's not easy. Move some stuff around. Wrangle myself into this tiny car. There we go. Let's take off the ring for fun. Maybe we can do something different with that. You gotta get all your fingers in here. There we go. Get that down like that. Um, I think I may want to leave the ring on to do that. I got giant fingers. Fits in there nicely. Let me get my long pliers. I'll be right back. Should just use these to begin with. These are some of the best tools I've ever got. There we go. <laughs> these long nose pliers. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose this ring. So I'll put this ring on here and then we can get this. Gotta feel it. How did I do that before? There we go. Okay. Always a lot of grunting. 
see we're not in. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I've got these pliers. I'm gonna use them. There we go. And the ring's on and everything. So that's all in there where it needs to go. Yay, success. You probably saw none of that. It's probably dark as hell. Got too much sunlight in here. But gives you an idea of what it takes. So now we can see down there. Can you see down there? There we go. There's our rod. There's our new bushing in there. And we do have enough clearance um, without pulling it off that front. So that's good. All we need to do is pick that up and put it through there. I've got my long magic pliers. I'm going to go up to the front, clean that up, and we'll come back and try that. All right, so what are we going to do here? Well, we should have put a wire down there or something. But what we're going to do is reach down here with these pliers and pick that up and put it in there. And I don't think there's any way for me to film that. You'll just be watching me struggle if I put the camera here. Maybe. He says... Yeah. Anyway, I'll, uh, where's the hole? There it goes. Yeah, uh, I don't think that'll stay right there either. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see what happens here. I just got to get it to start passing through. Oh, you go on the other end and you push. Um, and that's probably what's happened is it's kind of stuck on the other, the other end here. So let me go up there and make sure. Yeah, we're in there. I probably should have put some grease there. Well, let's go to the other end. I'll push and see what happens. Nothing, nothing happens. So I'm gonna put some grease uh, on our little ring here. Eh, it's starting to push through it. Anyway, I'll get some grease there and I'll bring you all back. It'll be a lot better. And we got it up here. It did, took not an unreasonable amount of grunting and uh, uh, to get this through and the grease uh, helped move it along. Um, I did have to spin the shaft once. It got hung up somewhere you know, up here in the tunnel, but uh, uh, it worked. So we've got this in now. Now we'll be able to put all this back on this end and uh, get that together and get this end together and we can uh, put it on. Oh, I am gonna get a magnet uh, and get down there and see if I can find my, uh, my grub bolt. It's down there somewhere. Maybe it fell out the hole. All right, let's see if we can find that little grub screw is going to stick to everything <laughs> in there. I think it went out the hole. I really do. I don't think it went, there's a lot of filings in there. I don't think it went too terribly far down there. It, was, it really can't. And I've got some spares that the new uh, coupling comes with one also. But uh, I don't see that it could have gone much of anywhere down there. Hmm. I'll look underneath the car too. Ow. 
metal filings. Aha! Uh -huh. He he he. There it is. Can you see it? Where are you? There we go. There's the one. The reason I want this one is it's an original. It's it's better than the one that comes with the uh, the new uh, new coupling. So we'll keep that safe there. I'll put boot Loctite again on it. We've got the new coupling here. There we go. And uh, it's about the same as the old one. The old one. Gosh, just it doesn't. It's it's a little bit wallowy, but it's not terrible. What I'll probably do is keep it um, as a spare, and we'll put the new one on um, as our primary. And it, of course, uses a different size screw than the old one. Here, I'll get this set up, and I'll bring you back. All right, I'm rethinking this. I think I'm going to reuse the old one because the new one's kind of crap. The um, the old one, the the center shaft is really nice and even and straight. The new one, it's thin metal. It's a piece of crap, um, really. So I'm going to use the old one, and I'm going to keep the new one as an emergency backup spare. Yeah, we'll just. We'll just clean this up a little bit. But we'll make sure this cage is the right direction here. Give it a little clean too. It's got a lot of greasiness in there. You, know, you don't want squeaking, but you also don't need a ton of grease on it. Okay. So we got our shifter here. And we're going to put this through here again, like this, um, on this shaft. And you can twist the shaft, which makes this a whole lot easier. And we'll get that half through there. And make sure we're the right way up here, looking at the other end. <laughs> and then we'll get this half. Uh, on here like so and get our bolt started and I'm just gonna put it on here just to kind of rest it uh, for now and I'll get my wrenches on there and uh, we'll get this tightened up and then I'll bring you back again all right you didn't need to watch me wrestle a bolt for five minutes but we got it on there and what we're going to do now is put on our grub bolt our grub screw and like I said I'm going to put a little blue Loctite on here because I don't think I have any wire right now and I don't want to drop this and I should have got the shifter in a little bit different position but this is the position that makes it the easiest to get all this off and I could move it what would be the fun in that it's more exciting to watch me struggle with this there we go and we got our 8 mil on this one and we got it lined up with our hole or pretty close the grub screw has a little point on it, so it will get down in here. Now, if you're on a Type 3, and I think Type 4, this goes in from underneath. Oh, we're missing something here. Maybe. There we go. We should be able to do that. Yeah. Okay, we're tight. So, there's our linkage now. And our rod isn't vibrating anymore. Um, I'm going to tighten this up a little bit more because it's still got a little play this direction. should have some, but I don't want that much. 
And then we're going to come up to this end and put in the shifter. I'll bring you right back. I might as well finish this back here for you. So now you've got your your plates. We got everything tight back here. It's all good to go. Get our I cut my finger. Sharp metal. I'm not quite the deck man. I don't know how to grab things without cutting myself, I guess. Ow. Where's our hole? I was wiping crap off of this and sliced my finger open. There's our hole. And our Phillips screw. And our Phillips screwdriver. All right, so we're done underneath the back seat now. That end's done. We'll flip you around, bring it to the other end, and put in the shifter. Okay, we're back up on this end, and we've got some grease, more grease, uh, down in our cup here. Yeah, it's messy. Oh, I left this plate sitting here. There we go. Like so. Um, it fits pretty tight, so you don't need a ton. I put way too much in there. And then we've got our plate. So on this one, the curved bit goes on that side. I'm pretty sure that's how it came off. I've cleaned up the end of our shifter. Um, it doesn't appear to have a left or right. Um, the, the shaft just spins freely, and there's no... Uh, it's symmetrical, so I think we're good there. Just got to make sure the spring is everywhere properly and that your this has a, a ball detent on it so we want to make sure that will you know go down in there uh, properly yeah what did i do what am i doing oh i gotta actually hit the ball in the hole and we'll start these guys. I'm getting blood everywhere. I have to go get a band-aid. I'll get this started. I'll wipe the blood off my carpet and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay we got everything tightened down there and uh, first, second, third, fourth, wait, first, second, third, fourth, and reverse. It's nice and tight, doesn't make any sound now, and uh, seems right. So that's kind of how you do that. Um, your mileage may vary. You might have uh, other circumstances that uh, prevent you from doing things. You might have to pull your shaft all the way out. Your shifter might not be exactly the same. Um, you may have other problems, but on this car, this is the way this was. So thanks for coming today. I enjoyed it. Uh, this didn't take long. I think if I weren't filming, it probably would take less than an hour. So no big deal. Um, again, your mileage may vary. But uh, we'll see you next time. Please uh, uh, like the video uh, and share the video. Send it forward. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I am slowly creeping up on subscribers. And uh, I'm so happy you're here. And uh, thanks for watching. Please comment. And we'll see you next time. Here's the tunnel drain valve, by the way, and it's just a silly little part, but it's the part that goes oh, on your tunnel up there where that little hole is. It just keeps mice out of there, so I'm going to put mine on.